Welcome to my fourth uh, comment response video. I'm going to do it a little differently from now on. So instead of just trying to view my comments in chronological order, which is difficult to do, I'm just going to, since my last comment uh, video, I'll just read all the comments from the videos after that. So if you comment on the comment vi video itself, um, uh, maybe I should read those too, because obviously, right, those have come in. All right, so I'll read the comments from here onward. So if you comment anything before then, sorry, you're not going to get a response. Although I, I might still delete it if it's just calling me names or if... um. Sorry, I'm a little tired. If it has false information, uh, I I don't delete those, but I do report them, and then uh, YouTube deletes them. Hey, okay, just doing another and so free thinker says, I don't get why people are so hateful to harass Chile and his supporters. I was the target of harassment on my last channel, which got deleted by YouTube. It was hacked, but YouTube won't do anything about it. I sent multiple complaints with no reply. Trolls are losers full of hate. So you hear that? Yeah, trolls, uh, they, yeah, they get some type of positive feedback to their system. From the heat. Mm, Mr. For Twitch says maybe you were putting out bogus content. I think that's you, Freethinker. If you shop on Amazon, you should use this tool. It's. Alright, so. Rush says, hope Chile, this is the vexatious litigants video. Hope Chile get on uh, this, get on this last list ASAP for his frivolous lawsuit and restor order filings. So it sounds like you didn't watch the video. Because I say how to get on the list and I talk about what qualifies. So, before you comment on videos, you should probably watch them. Uh, don't just read the title and then make assumptions. Because you know what making assumptions does. So, Taco and Yoshi says, So, basically, Chile could be hit soon for vexatious litigation. Uh, again, you didn't read the video. Let's read. Watch the video due to him stating several times on YouTube that he will keep using the court against Kate until she is bankrupt. So you should watch my first video where I critiqued um, Merbeast's critique of Chile's defamation lawsuit. Because I explained that is is definitely one of the reasons why people filed defamation lawsuits. And it's your right. Uh, that means criteria for the, the second option. D does it? I, I, I don't even. That doesn't make sense to me. It's a browser extension yeah, that automatically. My own video. So my. Um. So what? Um. Defines oh, that. On this one repeated. So first of all, you must. Be Phyllis doesn't mean to run up someone else's um, costs. It just means your legal uh, complaint or defense has no merit. Also, he's getting close to the five failed litigations. Again, sounds like he didn't watch it. Granted... Well, you, you seem to indicate you did, so 
I maybe mean, missed the part where uh, I s it says uh, civil only plays the civil matters, and, um, and that means like civil actions, and then so the restraining order hearings in Boston are not considered civil actions. There are special procedures. So, where are we at? Grant I know this is California, not Mass. Should we also be able to tie in Zane's litigations due to the involvement of Chile and things he has admitted on YouTube? Uh, no, I, I, I would have to search case law to confirm that, but I, I don't think that's that's something that would seem fair, so I don't think the courts would do it. But, um, I mean, if you finish the video, it also says that it, the whole vexation, sorry, vexatious litigation thing um, kind of lacks teeth because it just ends up being uh, that you only get served with complaints that are uh, properly pled, right? they're perfected, and they have merit. So, the only thing it protects you from is ones that don't don't have merit. So, if you actually did do defamation, which happened in this case, doesn't protect you. Uh, and as far as harassment, right, you just won't get served until you finally get across the threshold for harassment, which is is pretty low. I will be curious how far this defamation lawsuit goes, as I don't see Chile lasting through trial. Yeah, I don't... I think someone else said something similar, and I don't... I don't see in his past history that he gives up his lawsuits. Uh, my guess would be a withdrawal before or after depositions and discovery. I don't know, you threw me off by using the word withdrawal there. So, because my brain is being pedantic at me. Also, suing YouTube will be a quick fail. It could be a long fail. Yeah, I don't know why it would suddenly be quick. It seems like it might not be. Mikey B says, thank you. You're welcome, Mikey B. Um, B Boyer, nice to see you and answer questions. I'll need to watch this a few times to understand. Thanks for the information. I'm sorry that it's. Um, I tried to break things down, but you know, I'm, don't pre I don't pr prepare for these very well, so sometimes they're a little, a little all over the place. I'm trying to use bullet points and stuff now, and try to remind me what I'm supposed to say. So, how do we get on this page? I opened a new window, apparently. Right. So now we're doing service by mail. Are we seeing this arch support? My toxic tr So, B Boyer says, I appreciate the information. Thank you. You're welcome. Ian Cope Dog. More ammo, please. This is some really good information to have, and you're explaining it well. Knowledge is power. Thanks, my friend. You're welcome. I wouldn't know, but thanks for the reply. And apparently, internet got. Uh, the comment got deleted. But, internet got. I don't know if you didn't reply to Ian Cope Dog, but he might be waiting for a response if it didn't get deleted. Ryan Waters, who appeared on Laura Laguna's channel the other day, if it's the same Ryan Waters, says, if you feel you need it certified, or if you're allowed to set initial service certified, 
for example, serving the Attorney General, you can send it certified and regular. And that's a good point, and I didn't mention that. So I said, uh, you're doing it wrong if you're sending it certified. Well, if you want to try and get that signature card back, uh, you could send that, but then also send it first class mail. So Ryan makes a good point there. Del delete laws says, keep putting out the knowledge, they will come. Thanks, Shelly. All right, so now we're going to negotiating a severance agreement higher. So I'm only doubt there's any, <laughs> any comments on this one. Well, there's one. So today's video is about negotiating a fair severance package. Brit, um, B word says you are saying I'm a lot. Are you, are you lying? I don't know why you went back and replied to this video because the one where I was talking about Kate's umming was a later video. But I, I just I don't know because the trolls seem to complain about my ums and. It's legit. I mean, probably the non-trolls, you know, could do with fewer ums. But it, it is interesting that Kate said, uh, a lot. Like, maybe ums are worse than us. Uh, I don't know. But if, you, I mean, if you, since you guys think it's bad that I say um and not bad that she says uh, I w was assuming that she doesn't normally say uh a lot because you guys obviously not to be hypocrites, would uh, call her out on that. So the fact that she was saying, oh, a lot, seems out of character, given that the way I interpreted it that way. So I made a lot of assumptions there. Discussing fl flaws. No, he can't be. Only Kate is lying when she um ums. Are these scripts written by Chili? Yeah, if I'm lying when when I um, uh, then I must be lying all the time, right? I think what you have to look for is a tell. But my, my tell is probably different than hers because I say um a lot. So maybe I speak very confidently without ums when I'm lying. Could could be. Oh, and are these scripts written by Chili? I don't even use scripts. Be nice if you wrote me some scripts. If anyone would write me some scripts. All right. So I was surprised there that there were comments. How to see YouTube. Challenge yourself to the career. I, I forget how this, how this even came up. I think I was trying to see if anyone had ever sued YouTube and won. And uh, I was reading, they get like nine, they get sued like 900 times a year. So I, I obviously didn't go through all the cases, but I went through a lot of them. So Connecticut Troll Hunt says, Fake internet lawyer gives people terrible legal advice would have been a much better title. And uh, I'm gonna report that as misinformation. So, show us one single instance where someone successfully sued and won over their face being used in a in a thumbnail. All right. I mean, not right now. I'll make a video of that. How uh, using someone's likeness to advertise a product, especially in, in the, the same space, is, uh, is a tort. Successfully sued, though. The... I think 
Well, I mean, a lot of times you're suing for injective relief, so I don't know what you mean by successful. And, you know, most cases don't go to trial. So if you're going to make ridiculous claims like that, you need to back them up. The other thing for Thinker 57 is it, it's it would be really easy to find it, right? Like, uh, go to your local library and use their LexisNexis account, or do like Merbis was using before you signed up for a LexisNexis trial, which is probably expired by now. Uh, and so un under Google Scholar, or which is at scholar.google.com, you can search uh, a lot of cases there. So just type, uh, you know, uh, image and advertising trademark. And probably come up. So you're saying I'm a lot. Are you lying? So Brett went back another video into that. So I'm considering this one as a duplicate. Removing it. Oh, and th that comment was from Freethinker, which is the guy who was saying that trolls were hateful people earlier. Hmm. I don't know. Is he trying to catfish me like Mr. Josh Groman? So here, here we go. We'll go to that one. All right, you're requesting an entry for default. Fine, too. So, in so today we're talking. About so in this video, uh, I basically break down this panel on mass hole reports. Uh, I don't know their lack of understanding of what they're reading here. Which is un understandable, but they still seem to be not open to learning about that. They just get mad and said, that's fine. So, Nima says, can you start every episode you do by apologizing for all the mistakes you had on the last one and tell us what it was? So, I hope this is re referring to, and, and I hearted it at the time because I think it's a good idea. I mean, I do make some mistakes, or usually I forget, I leave out something that I think probably should have been shared, but also in that one video where I was showing how to uh, draft uh, application for entry of default, I left out the V, or versus, um, or VS for versus in the caption, and then... Oh, and I in the vexatious litigant one, I think I had put vexation litigants in the title of one of my slides. And because it's a, a real word, uh, spell check didn't help me with that. So I wonder if this guy, Chuck G, says, I wonder if this guy is even an attorney. He keeps the funding Ch Chili's filings. <clears throat> so, I know a lot of people keep asking that, and I always thought it would be obvious, especially uh, when attorneys were watching my videos, what, uh, what my experience might be. But, it's not the case because you guys have only had uh, stupid attorneys watch my videos uh, that think I'm wrong about everything. So I don't know, but uh, yeah, I I think 
I think I'm just going to stick with my plan of one day I have a live stream and I'll answer you guys' questions. But, but right now, I don't, I don't want to reveal stuff. I mean, I have. You probably just have to look in the clues. I feel like I've probably let out more than I intended. Specifying what states. I'll drop in different states' laws that I'm familiar with. So one wonders if this guy is Chili's super secret attorney helping him file these tr tragically f flawed docs. Um, you know, one has to wonder. Cheeky Monkey says, they are flawed and won't get very far. Seems he is a chili dog copycat. Where are we at in this case right now? It's just, he filed the applications for entry default. And I, he might have filed the one memorandum in opposition of extension of time, ex parte extension of time. I don't know. I didn't think they were that bad. I did see... Never mind. I'm not talk about the errors I saw. If you want a defensive strategy, talk to Benjamin Wish. He words his description very carefully so as to imply he might be an attorney without saying such. I'm sure that's a coincidence. Well, I might be attorney, I might not, right? Uh, might be uh, something better than an attorney. As I said before, uh, my law professors, most of them were not attorneys. But they could definitely school uh, most people, uh, definitely MERB. And Paul, whatever his last name is, on practice the practice of law. Um, there are definitely uh, professors who ha are so far removed from the practice of law, um, you know, ones that don't teach the practice of law, but you know, teach theory and stuff or civil rights. That you know. Even though they're a professor, they are not as competent as attorney. Even probably not as competent as Merb when it comes to practicing uh, law or going to trial. So, where are we? Oh. I, I did say uh, that I have a more advanced law degree than than Merb, and I don't know about Paul, but I'm guessing so, because he doesn't seem to know what he's talking about. Didn't even know the difference between TM symbol and the R with a circle around it. Uh, didn't really know... I mean, in Merb still thinks that, th that y you have the right to an attorney in, in civil trials. I, I mean, apparently. But, um, it's not the case. So, there's no, Greedy K says, there's no way he's an attorney. No true attorney would behave in such a way as there is the very real possibility of doing irreparable damage to the reputation and a real attorney or even a law student would not jeopardize their future that way not to mention the fact he gets pretty much everything wrong it, it sounds like Greedy doesn't know what he's talking about he's probably going off of the word of Merb and the Paul guy but they're wrong and it doesn't really matter when I sh show 
why because you guys just focus on something else it's kind of like the whole football football team thing I mean I'm sure there's people that come to my channel to learn but you guys you guys aren't open to that so Chuck D to Kevin I can see a Kevin to that Let's go ahead and delete that because Kevin's was missing. All right. JJ Thomas says, Sir, you're not only out of your lane, you're past the ditch and in the woods. Sounds like he was triggered. And telling people to stay in their lane. And um yeah, you know, that's just attacking me, right? It's not really commenting on the content or anything. It doesn't ask any questions. Don't really know how to say anything. So I think I have to remove that one. I can clearly see you're just as knowledgeable as Chili. That's not much. Now, I've answered that question before. K has receipts for every claim. I don't know what you mean, claim. Receipts. Just because Chile denies it, OU and his others ill-informed followers doesn't make it defamation. Chile denies. What does Chile denying anything have to do with Kate defaming him? JJ, um, stop smoking the crack. Chile, on the other hand, has made claims and has no receipts. <laughs> Um, Kate, next time you defame Chili, please give him a receipt. So aim for the bush. So someone didn't go to law school and thinks Chili is actually a constitutional law scholar. Yep, you should Google what those words mean. Newsflash, Chili isn't a constitutional law scholar. He definitely is. You should Google what those words mean. And you have zero knowledge of the law or court procedures. Sounds like it might be... Most likely, all right, it's the other way around. You don't know what you're talking about. You probably watch one too many legal dramas and think you're an expert while you're working at McDonald's. You're not an expert. Stay in your lane. Daryl Brooks might have more knowledge about the law than Chili. Maybe, I don't know who that is. If you haven't been watching all his videos on his court cases and people who Chili tries to get court cases through have all lost. Uh, I don't think that's true. I think Chili has won all of his court cases. I think you might be referring to uh, the restor restraining order once uh, requests and where his request for a restraining order has been denied. Not the same as losing. So, there was a judgment. Fun did not get a judgment against him. Chile and his friends have yet to win, in fact. Chile has won so many lawsuits. And he has, I've said this before, he has a unique name. It's easy to pull him up. So much so, Chile is so desperate for winning. He is trying to get people to lie to him. A lot of them have come out on YouTube with proof. Unlike Chile and your accusation that I have zero proof or backing by case law or any kind of law but the ones you and Chile make up in your head. So, um, I've, I've already repeated myself from stuff I've answered in previous videos. Oh my god, I'm not even five minutes in. I'm already fuming. First off, you do have a right to attorney for civil cases. Uh, now you should watch my latest video. What's the uh, legal myth busting volume one? The only difference between civil and criminal cases is that the courts can appoint one for you in the criminal case. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. PIC, Witch of Heart. Stop Googling and reading the first number one result. And thinking you're an expert. Stay in your lane. 
So you, you know damn well that Kate has a rock solid defense. Um, that might make a good video, right? We'll talk about the different defenses one might have to defamation. It sounds like she is either saying that Chilling never sent her a cease and desist, which isn't gonna, which wouldn't work. Um, the other one is she's claiming that um, it's protected speech, which uh, I mean a lot of the things that probably pisses Chili off that Kate says is protected speech, but there's definitely examples of defamation. You call us idiots. Only when you guys um, speak out of your butt about things you shouldn't speak about because it's all from your butt. Take a look in the mirror, my dude. I think she's calling me an idiot. I could write a novella with all the comments I have about this. Sounds like you're triggered. PIC Witch of a Heart. You're welcome. According to Isa, I've had to convert it from image, but this is about right. Please respond from Paul Carroll. All right, so Paul Carroll, who um, I, I had deleted these questions when he posted it here, even though he had subscribed, and uh, it seems likely that, that that did happen because I was under the misimpression that when someone subscribed, they had that little thing next to their name. Well, the only thing that means, and, and Isa actually had it yesterday, so I know she's unsubscribed from me now, so I should delete her comment. But that apparently doesn't appear next to your name every time. It only appears next to your name if they're subscribed to your channel and they um, have th their subscriptions um, settings set to public so everyone can see what they're subscribed to. So, I don't know because I can't see if Paul is subscribed or not. And whether he actually had. So, Um, so she posted, reposted his questions, and I said, I can't really answer them all. I can only answer four. Number four, but, and I did in that video. Oh, I'm sorry, not in the video, in the comments here. So one of the issues in Benny V. Pipes is whether or not the guard's multiple requests for continuances manifested clear purpose to defend the case. So again, um, Paul doesn't seem to know how case law works. This was interp interpreting a statute, right? Not facts. So th the facts are are pretty much irrelevant, other than. If you want to file an application for default with the clerk and the other person has filed a motion for extension of time that you do not have to give notice. You also obviously don't have to cite the case. You can just not give notice. So if you guys are going to be all in the uproar about it, just ignore it, right? He didn't have to cite the case. The, the judge knows the case law, right? So you refer to a lot of people as lay people when it comes to legal analysis. That is true. That coupled with the fact that you refer to yourself as Dr. Law Seems to indicate that you think you're an expert in the field. Yep. My question then is, do you have a law degree and are you licensed as an attorney to be giving lay people advice in this manner? And uh, 
I've answered this question. Go watch. Actually, just rewind a little bit. And then, are you licensed as attorney to be giving lay people advice in this manner? I'll answer that question someday because I've been thinking about it and um, I think I could probably answer that and stay anonymous. But I promised I would do it and live. So I have a law degree and I'm an attorney who now works in a prosecutor's office in Ohio. So I would be curious to hear what your actual credentials are. They must have a low bar, no pun intended, in that department. Even by your own logic, Chile's application for default judgment was premature if, as you say, Kate had until today to file a response. So go back and rewatch the video. Uh, I, I never use the word response. So there's your clue. It's interesting that you are amusing. How will the judge respond when she was the one who issued the continuance already? So um, it's interesting because this is the word that um, Kate used too. And Paul, you supposedly know, know the law, so it's not continuance. I think uh, you even have to uh, pay a fee to request a continuance in this court. So, I don't know. I hate to be a pedant, but I'm going to be a pedant here. All right, so. Number one, two, and three. All right, let's answer those as best as I can. I did say, how will the judge respond in, in once? Never mind. I've said too much. So, but you guys are going to, I was going to say, you guys are going to look like idiots, but you already do. And then you're just going to say that I'm wrong uh, when it comes out. So, but I think, it'll, I think I'll still be embarrassing and I think it's going to trigger you. So, looking forward to it. So, according to I Aza, Discussing law, you're choosing to ignore the genuine inquiries of Paul Carroll, a practicing attorney who, whose bar numbers for two different states I can and have pr provided. Uh, I didn't see those. Yet you've, you are happy to make video after video, signing with Jose and dismissing in any and all criticisms from actual qualified practicing attorneys. So, I don't, I don't know how long. These people have been practicing law, or maybe that they've been practicing it, or been out of school, I should say, for too long. I don't know why they're losing the details that I feel like they should have learned just um, from doing mock jury trials and mock bench trials in class. So maybe they went to online schools. That might explain it. Because the bar questions, at least in uh, ca California, right, aren't really about procedural stuff. <sighs> so, yet you're happy to make video after video with Jose and dismissing any and all criticisms from actual qualified practicing attorneys. Only when they're wrong. So. And Ho Jose's been, been wronged. Definitely. I mean, you, you guys are self-described trolls. Y you guys admit it. Uh, so. I would definitely be, you know, when he uh, mends his complaint, I would definitely add harassment on there. That's just as obvious as the defamation. 
So you're giving incorrect and misleading legal advice and regardless of your disclaimer, I will catch up with you eventually. Again, Aisley, you should stay in your lane. Stop trying to give me legal advice. And your name is not trademarked. This we know for a fact. I covered that in my video today, but you probably say I was wrong. And Burb says I'm wrong. Paul says I'm wrong. So, because you, you don't know that for a fact, you were wrong. Nor are you a doctor of law or a qualified practicing attorney. I would say that uh, Merb and Paul are n none of these. They either are not practicing, <laughs> they're definitely not qualified, yeah, and I don't think any of them have a doctorate in anything, let alone law. Seriously, young man. So isn't Aza, Aza like under 18? She's calling me young man. Oh, well, people are saying I'm a 12 year old, so that makes sense. She's probably over 12. You're gonna get yourself in trouble? I don't think so. Not in legal trouble anyway. I mean, if the trolls eventually find where I live, that would be the problem, right? And so I hope you guys understand why I'm being anonymous. And if you're trying, tying yourself to Chile, you will sink with him. Just a bit of advice. Yeah, I don't know what you mean by that. Like, if he starts a new venture and it fails, um, that m my ventures that I'm doing will fail as well. I don't know how you make those correlations. If uh, Chili dies from a stroke from his blood pressure, I'm not going to die at the same time. And I did answer this, it looks like. It says, you should stay in your lane. I don't give you advice on making intro videos. What you just said hurts my head. I also already said that I will respond to the other cues when everything is finalized. Go ask Kate's attorney if you want defense strategy on this action. Good answer. Also ask Mr. Kerr about the TM or not because he obviously didn't know what that was. This is supposed to say hope. I hope he'll be smart enough to tell you how, how dumb you're being. But he didn't, probably because he thought you were right. So, I answered these ones too. And you know what my lane is. You know absolutely nothing about me. I do not need to ask Paul about your TM as trademarks are public record and there's nothing, been nothing filed for discussing law, but by all means, please explain to me how I'm wrong. Made your head hurt by using simple language. Are you ill? Nothing I said was complicated. Surely someone as educated as yourself should have breezed through it. You have chosen to call your channel discussing law, law, yet that's the one thing you do not allow. There's no discussion whatsoever. You don't answer any questions. You don't discuss anything. So why have you called it that? Honestly, I wanted um, something else, but... Uh, that Google name was already taken, so I'm discussing law. Uh oh, and Paul says this. This doesn't address the specific context of my point. I'm asserting and the judge has already agreed with this assertion that a single extension request in order to get an attorney is undeniably a reasonable purpose that indicates a manifestation of clear purpose to defend against this suit. Was clear purpose an element? Because um, I know good cause was, and that um, Kate didn't provide any cause or reason in her letter. And 
Josh just said pretty much exactly the same thing. So neither one of them specifies by the reason. Um, the reason the... So they should have been uh, at least not allowed an ex parte uh, uh, motion for extension of time. So discussing law in Chile apparently seemed to think that just because Kate requests an extension, she should still have a default judgment entered against her because she has an answer by the original deadline. I'd like to see an actual attorney argue that in court. Yeah, and that's not my argument. Um, I, I think it's clear, and I said this, that when Chile f filed his uh, motions, sorry, there were not motions, his uh, application for entry of default, he had not received any orders on the um, motions for extensions of time. So definitely him um, filing those was correct. And um, you're being dumb if you, if you, 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 and especially if attorney thinks that's wrong. So additionally, there are still three points to the answer and you're free to look me up on the how I'm in the SOTA attorney databases because I use my real name and, and not a coward. I actually couldn't remember what his last name is. Paul Carroll. I'll, I'll look you up, Paul, if that's even really you. Because you don't seem to be an attorney. So I said, so you're saying you Googled it, you Googled it, Googled it wrong. Try TM plus R plus difference. And I actually tried this, and um, the first result If you click on it, it was not the correct answer. So, but it's good because I said, and then read multiple results, preferably one from a legal resource. So th the biggest problem I have with you guys, legal, quote unquote, legal knowledge and making claims is you guys seem to Google keywords, click on the first thing and it's obvious and then you you assume that that is is correct, even if possibly you're looking up you know the opposite just to confirm your bias. So it's a common mistake, but you guys should probably not assume that you're right when you're not experts. So after you read that, please learn from it and stop trying to give me legal advice when you clearly don't know what you're talking about and stay in your lane. So I did a video today on why your TM thing was wrong. Hope you've learned for, from it and will stay in your lane. I didn't Google it. We have lo lawyers in our community. Uh, you know, I don't think that's true. Definitely not qualified ones, including ones that deal with trademarks and copyright law. That also is definitely not the case. Def def definitely not the case, right? Because the whole TM and the circle are, oh my gosh, that's anyone, I don't know, anyone who's even worked at a company that has a trademark that has had to add the symbol to the end of the name should know that whether you're in the law field or not and they do not know know that so I don't know it hurts my head so not to mention trademarks are registered on your multiple channels not I already answered that I'm rather stunned you're doubling down on this while still not long any discussion of law yeah I'm, I'm doubling down that you're wrong because you, you are. So, by the way, another lawyer in our community, Mem Mendesem, I'm sure that's his real name, says this. Would someone who, who please point out, as I did in several comments that were deleted or don't show, that the thing that's most fundamentally flawed about the application to clerk for entry default, that discussing law now pretty much admits he wrote for Chile, is that it's directed to the clerk when it should have been 
Me is a motion directed to the court. CFRCP Rule 55B. And um, I think I answered this pretty well. I said, I interpreted trademarks are public record as you Googling it. Uh, sorry, perhaps you should Google it. Maybe you will finally realize that all of these attorneys in Kate's troll farm are completely fake. It's pretty obvious. I really don't see the point in arguing with you. If you continue to believe that attorney trolls know what they're talking about, they don't. Apparently, maybe they know some stuff. They probably know some stuff I don't know. Right? Because they're probably very specialized in something. And that's why their other skills have gone away. Paul should stay out of... If they're real attorneys. I mean, I've heard them say it. I haven't looked it up. But, you know, it's hard to, to trust the troll farm. Uh, right? Without verification. Paul should stay out of court if he doesn't even know how defaults work. Yep. Why didn't he skip right past Rule 55A? Can you please turn on your brain? You're, you're being led astray by ignorant attorneys. So, yeah, it's hilarious that he says... Um, oh, by the way, I never admitted writing it. But... Mendesem, who claims to be attorney, who's obviously not, says that... Chile should have skipped right past the entry of default and, and filed for a motion of default. Actually, if you watch the video where I talk about drafting an application for default, I explain the difference between entry of default and a motion for default judgment. So you could at least watch the video because then you would know you would know better. So then, tell the dunce cap that I didn't skip over 55A. You just stop there. The clerk always enters the default under 55A. <laughs> you just hurt my head, Mr. Mendesum. Why would there be such a thing as a request for entry of default? If the clerk always enters it. But the person who grants it is either the clerk under 55B1 or the judge under 55B2. So th these are different. 55A is the entry of default. This is the default judgment. So you don't know the difference. You're not a lawyer. Stay in your lane. But DL is too stupid, as you would say, to understand that Rule 55B1 doesn't apply to Chile's defamation action because it's not for uh, some certain. Again, watch my video. I explain all of this. That's why Chile and his application was erroneously directed to the clerk. It was not. You're being dumb. You don't know what you're talking about. You should not be a lawyer. Practicing law if you don't know how defaults work. Go watch my video so you can learn. You guys frustrate me because, I don't know, y you just, I don't know, I think it should be obvious. A reasonable person would understand why I'm frustrated. Oh, and I answered it though, I forgot I answered it. Go watch my first video on requesting entry for default, yep. Also refer to this title and how it's not a motion for default judgment. And also just keep refusing to Google what TM means. You are the one refusing to absorb the information that I provide when I provide it. This is why I'm frustrated. And any additional responses from me will only be available in the ne my next response video. I wish you the best of luck at turning your brain on in the future. If I'm wrong, you have not convinced me. It seems pretty clear that you all either are really unable to see the truth when it contradicts your biases. You're trying to troll me by ignoring your lawyer's mistakes and talking in circles. So please, talk to 
Paul and um, Merbeast, after watching my video that explains the difference between TM and R, the circle around it, symbols, ask them to explain why they didn't know that. And get back to me. Thank you for subscribing and watching just to make fun of my ignorance of the law. And then have them, have Mendesim explain why he doesn't know what default is. How it works. I do believe when I dispel your errors of understanding, they will at least be helpful to others. I agree. So I can't get it through your all thick skull what the correct information is about all these court procedures. But um, it should help someone else who's coming in with a more open mind. I mean, who's not watching Merb, Merb's videos and getting horribly bad advice. So, you mocked me when you thought I googled about trademarks, but now you want me to? Yeah, and, and I kind of ex explained that, so... When I say Google, right, you can Google things in the right way and Google things in the wrong way. And when you Google things in the wrong way, it's when you Google something and you read the first answer and assume you know the truth, right? I just said that it, even if you had typed in what I asked you to type in, that the first answer was incorrect. So I think if you had typed that in and read multiple answers, especially ones from law resources, that you would have gotten the right answer. Insults won't change your errors or refusal to discuss law or answer questions. So, Aza, I hope you really get back to me after learning that you were wrong about the, the TM thing. So, when confronted with actual lawyers, you call them fake, a dodgy remark, these, their remarks, these are the actions of a child, you would know, right? You have no idea the trouble you're getting yourself into, and you chose to ignore all warnings and advice. Yeah, I don't know what, what you mean. Definitely not any legal trouble. If you are actually studying law, you are potentially throwing your future away, but that's your choice. I don't give a toss anymore. It's chili, Nutella flavored. So, I don't know. I thought the younger generations had learned, right, that insinuating that someone was was gay was not cool, right, not funny, not um, really a cut down. I don't know. Aza, please have your parents give me a call. So, Greedy K says, at Disgusting Well, so is he, I'd like to know as well, is chili Nutella flavored? Right, so, so, since this one had nothing else useful. Yeah, at least Aza's. Insult came with some other stuff that I could answer. Connecticut Troll Hunt says the fake internet lawyer telling people to stay in their lane is pretty hilarious. So, I don't know if I should assume it's to Aza, but either way, you're, you're trolling. I wait watching you crash and burn more comedy gold. Yeah, I can't wait to see what the trolls do when they find out I was right. I find it interesting that he discussed my comment and then deleted it. I, I, I feel like I haven't discussed any comments. 
but weren't deleted. I don't know how I would do that. If I'm so stupid, why not leave the comment for all to see my incredible ineptitude? Yeah, I don't know what you where are you going with this? All I said was ch chili cherry pick sentences and applies arbitrary situations and his versions of facts to conclude he is right under the law. So if if you guys I, I don't know. Most legal briefs briefs are copied and pasted. Uh I try and copy and paste from ones that I did before I do someone else's, but if you're referring to the Benny V. Pipes thing, if you guys would read the sentence that he cited it in, you would know how dumb you're being. Well, his facts could be true, though I doubt it, but it's not him who gets to decide the validity of the facts and the interpretation of the law. You said a correct thing there. He can argue it, but he's not automatically correct because reasons. I don't get it. Great video. I love when you break down idiotic arguments. I find these male eagles to be very fragile. I work with teenagers. I have thick skin. Stupid is the nicest thing I've been called today. Oh, so you're saying I called you stupid. Yeah, I, I, it sounds like you might have taken something personal when I was talking about someone else. Funny how you skipped over the voicemail. I don't know what that means. This attorney is clearly in the bag for chili. He ignores all the <laughs> pegadillos of chili. Remember, we'll have a field day with, with this video. <sighs> I don't know. I don't watch Merv's videos anymore. It hurts my head. You know, I tried to explain that he doesn't, I don't know, you should read the comments on one of his videos where he said I didn't know what I was talking about. I was telling, I, I was just trying to be helpful and telling him why Chili's um, complaint uh, probably had a, a de declar declaratory um certification on the bottom and um, Merb didn't want to absorb any new information because he I mean it makes sense I've had this problem in my career right people think I'm younger than I am because I sound like a 12 year old so it just automatically hurts Merb's ego So Roman Field says, Merb is smart. Chili thinks he is an A-list star. Did he say that? I don't know. People talk about people nowadays. It's funny how poor people like Chili think they would change it. That is pretty deep. That, that is super deep. So, and we're at an hour here, but yeah, it's very hard for poor people to change uh, the system. I think because it's so hard to fight lobbyists, I mean, it's pretty much impossible. I think really the only way we're going to get change is if we actually all band together and um, make change through petitions and voting. It's the only way to beat the lobbyists. So, Meatball says, are you an attorney or not? I can't help but notice your disclaimer, but you don't seem to want to say whether or not you're an actual attorney. I forgot that I had added those disclaimers. Should be obvious now.
Bruce R. So it's good stuff. Go Chili. Thanks, Bruce. I hearted your thing. This is nice to see a little nugget of goodness in there. Angela S. says, K always wins. You're out of the loop. Angela S. sounds like you're out of the loop. I covered this before. You should watch my other videos. K has not always won. She's, uh, I don't want to be mean. Thank you for the informative video. I know nothing of law, but can discern free speech from defamation. Oh, this is Jeff H. Piggs. Jeff H. Piggs. And Kate, among others, are definitely in for a rude awakening. I agree. And I, I covered it in the very first video uh, where I covered Merb's critique of the defamation. Like, I went into the elements and why it's clear. So, it's right there. So, Lord Begitsire says, only from suddenly waking up to have a laughing fit that Chile did cry baby and all you Karens that cry when he gets put in his place. He's lost every case. This would be no different. I, I went into that as well. Oh, it's Jeff, a.k.a. Chilito. I don't know what that means. Che Jeff hates pigs and cheeky monkey. L off only in Chili's knowledge, but thanks for the compliment. Anyway... Yeah, yeah, Chili has a lot of knowledge, and I went in that, into that too. A lot of knowledge that I don't have. Cheeky monkey to Jeff H. Pig. Toledo's knowledge you can fit into a thimble, so you aren't far from that already. LOL. Cheeky monkey, I recommend going to watch um, Chili's debate on Team Skeptic's channel. Greedy K. Jeff Hates Pig says, you're either not a real person or you spent your younger years breaking the law and getting arrested instead of educating. Obviously, that's all the cops' fault, not yours for breaking the law. Never too old to school you now. That, that's pretty defamatory, and it's not, not towards me, so I think I have to protect. A person by not allowing that on my comment. And Jeff, well, this doesn't make sense to even be here anymore. Appreciate how well you know me. Keep in mind you're not even sure I'm a real person. Um, FAO, greedy to Jeff. So, oh, I do now. Thanks for the confirmation. I'm glad you guys are, have worked it out. Name change, change of heart. So since you mods delete everyone comments on Chili, since the money was donated from Chili Chat to help the bath lady, and he ran with it anyway, could that be construed as fraud by deception? The money was donated to Chili for her right, and he ran away with it and never got her an Uber right. This question is also to this channel's creator, too. Since the money was donated from Chili Chat to help the bath lady, and he ran away with it. So name changed, change of heart. You missed the video after that where he um, spoke on camera, actually, to the person who had donated the money. Um, for the Uber and asked them how they wanted to get it back. Um, I think Chili did the right thing there. Um, like I, It was a little weird where he just walked away. But I think it finally dawned on him that um, he could do no more help. So he quietly made an exit. But it would have been mean to the Uber driver. And... Um, wasn't wasn't the right thing so and then she, she was being a pain in the butt anyway she st turned into a bootlicker but um could that be construed as, as fraud by deception so that would be right the whole you made a promise and I relied on it, also known as promissory estoppel. Um, 
not construed as fraud by deception. So, no, right? What are the damages? So, I think it's good. Oh, you're talking about because he got money from through PayPal and then didn't use it for the the Uber. So, I think that would be basically considered co conversion, maybe, or um, un unjust enrichment. But as I said, he um, is working on giving the money back. The question is also the channel's creator, too. Oh, wait. I thought it was to me this entire time. He was asking you, Jeff. Would this be fraud anyway? A lot of the people in your chat and Chili's chat seem like good people, so why not just get an Uber? I said, so you're not smart. You're not smart at all. Chili has done after his voicemail threats to Kate, her lawyer is laughing. Yeah, I don't, I'm not familiar with this voicemail, but I doubt that Chili th threatened him with violence. So, um, definitely loud. It's, it actually happens a lot where lawyers do not get along. So, Name changed, change of heart. I subscribed. I will have to say it. Oh, no, I'm, I'm obviously Chili's not a lawyer, but the, you know, the, the person representing the two parties, I should say, do not get along. The two parties they have to talk to each other, have to confer. So, name change, change of heart says, I subscribed. I will have to say. It's nice you let both sides of the, the comment without deleting unless they're not subscribed. Thank you. Um, and I apologize when I was deleting people's comments who had probably possibly subscribed. But now I'm also even letting subscriptions, um, I'm sorry, letting people's comments stay. Even if I can't tell if they're subscribed, um, unless I'm sure that they're sure that they're not subscribed and not deleting them. Although I am also deleting ones that are misinformation, right? That say, you know, something that I said was incorrect when it's not. Uh, I don't want that information here when someone comes to my channel looking for advice. And then I'm also deleting ones that are just trollish there's no response, right? That just say you're a moron. Which either side should understand. They can't just say whatever they want without at least helping you grow a channel. Thank you. So, yeah, that was my manipulation of the system to get more subscribers. Um, that's also why I'm doing the comment reaction videos, just to get more views. Although, I'm starting to enjoy the comment reaction stuff. I think maybe the last one I was a little more mean than than just the dry humor, that w which is normally what I'm trying to do. So would you represent Chelly or find out that he's a snitch? Um... So I would I would not represent Chile in this defamation lawsuit because it's definitely not for free. It it's it's going to be a lot of work. There's just so many witnesses. Um, a lot of discovery. This video seems all Chile cited. It's sad that you hang with somebody like him and back him up. We'll just bring you down with him. No, he, he's on the side of right, right? I honestly had no idea that there were even troll farms that they existed. I don't really understand the 
the subculture. But um, shouldn't you know? I'm for free speech, but there is a line. So yep, he could probably do well, but this is doing him no favors. I don't know if this is about me or Chili. M to Adam McGuire. According to Aza, says I'm not part of the super secret Discord room displayed after each stream. The fact that missed the fact that missed them talking about harassing Chile at all these places may have just happened since those things didn't either V. I don't know what that means. According to Aza to Adam, it's actually super secret, which is coming where we cast spells on Chile and place curses on him and stuff. Great button. <coughs> I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, that doesn't seem illegal though. So Adam McGuire, according to Aiza, says, nope, didn't tell me about that room and didn't come with my troll keys. I only get to pick the field. So can you guys let Adam into the Discord, please? Sharfame just is rolling on the floor laughing. I think that's what that is. I don't know. Nima. That name looks familiar. I think we did something from that person. She said earlier this week and asked Chili when he contacted him. I don't know what that means. You have zero idea. You should find out the facts. You're not smart enough to look up what was written today. So, it's not my responsibility, but uh, it's obvious to me. I don't know. I already, I already covered it, the timeline and why you guys are being dumb. Tim Marmon says, guys, he's clearly a Google lawyer and knows more than, I think he meant than, judges and lawyers. He thinks like Chile, so let him think he is right. I do know more than mm, more than fifty percent lawyers, I would say. And judge, judges are basically lawyers, right? They don't always know more. Definitely not the mag magistrates who are definitely our lawyers. I've seen some pretty stupid stuff. Some pretty stupid, stupid, stupids. Like in Michigan, in traffic court. Oh my gosh, this video is gonna be long. So in Michigan, in traffic court, uh, right? There's this law that says, basically, when you write a citation, you have to list the law that's most specific. So, for example, if uh, you were driving in the left lane and in a red car and the police officer wrote you a ticket for riding in the left lane, but there's also a law against riding left lane if you're in a red car. So he wrote you for the less specific statute. So automatically. I mean, automatically, if you're in front of any other ma magistrate, they would um, just dismiss the case right there. But this magistrate said, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. What, what do you mean more specific statute? So <laughs> the, um, the traffic defense attorney who does this every day didn't really know how to handle that. Um, it was unexpected. She did not get the the case dismissed. Um, it's probably gonna probably gonna have to appeal that. So and and I think that's what happened, honestly, in Chile's. Um, the last restraining order. Was it the last one? Yeah. With the 
um, dark skin, um, braid hair judge. Um, I mean, it's obvious that she's magistrate and she isn't normally at, at that court based on the way she handled that because there are um, definitely procedures in a handbook that you're supposed to follow for those types of hearings and she did not follow it. So um, she got some experience though. Um, you know, experience being a tyrant. Hello, Murby destroyed your claims, fake internet lawyer. I doubt it. I can see why you would believe him, though, because you guys are doing that right now. You probably will always, forever, even when Murby is just being dumb. So, according to Aza says, I'm a subscriber, so please don't delete. I like to think you're not ch like chilling in that respect. I think I replied to this one. Yeah. Another subscriber of yours, a qualified practicing lawyer with a prosecutor's office in Ohio, recently left a very polite, his always polite, genuine comment, and appears that you have removed it. Why would you do this? Why is it that you couldn't or wouldn't respond to his polite, genuine comment and wait your response? So this is where I was possibly mean. I mean, it's possible he had subscribed and I assumed he hadn't. So I said, hey, he's a, he operates the subscribe button as well as he practices law. He probably operates the subscribe button better than he practices law, from what I'm hearing so far. So, I was wrong. Not in the way you would expect. According to Aza, says he is a practicing lawyer, I, I guarantee it, and whether he'd subbed or not is ir irrelevant. He wasn't abusive, he wasn't trolling, he was genuine, as he always is. Why would you do that? I'm I'm sorry for being mean. He, he obviously was asking those questions because he didn't know the, the answer possibly not just trying to say I'm wrong and I, I hope that I've resolved that I apologize you guys that you possibly are practicing lawyers I don't know what you're practicing you might need more pr practice with um, some stuff so according to Aza says he definitely subscribed to you by the way you do realize that YouTube doesn't notify immediately don't you and She's the one that helped me realize and helped me actually Google what I was doing wrong. I said, I can't believe people are watching my video, but I um, thought I answered that. I wonder what happened to my answer. I said, I did not realize that. So this is where I was snarky. I should probably delete this. So Aza says, he has subbed you, we've seen the proof, plus he's one of the most honest, polite, intelligent, loving people I know. Uh, uh, why is he sending you proof? Why didn't you forward the proof? So you, your mama, to, according to Aza says, how can you guarantee that? Where in Ohio does he study law? If you guarantee that, then you would know. Yeah, like, I mean, so far, right? I mean, it's more likely that he's faking it than me. I mean, maybe he looked up an attorney practicing law in Minnesota and used the name. And he, he is not a lawyer and works at McDonald's. I don't know. But there's definitely a lot of faking of stuff going on by the trolls. Can I see which part? It says, Hilly, can you see my replies with Paul's bar numbers and about doxing? Because I can't see them when I check with another account. She's basically, I think, telling PIC which part. Can you go on Discord <laughs> and pull those? Because I can't right now because I'm on one of my SAC accounts. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I find that funny. It's just like they have no shame in creating sax accounts and talking about doxing. Okay, I see Witch of Heart says according to Aza, if it's on this in particular thread, then no, I don't see anything in reference to that. According to Aza, I see Witch of Heart, I give up. Cheers, me dears. 
Oh, here's why I said, I had no idea that YouTube didn't notify me immediately. Thanks for letting me know. I'm relying on the little icon next to someone's name to determine if they subscribe. Maybe wait a few minutes before you trolls comment. I have nothing else to rely on. Yeah, as it turns out, as I said, the icon is not very helpful. MMO Mox says, subbed LOL. They require this. What a BS way to get subs. You're incapable of naturally building a channel. I think that's pretty natural. And you would think someone in the legal profession, you know, would be happy to find loopholes and manipulate the system. And that's what I'm good at. What's next? Follow in your boyfriend's footsteps and buy some. This is high comedy. Oh, if you only you hadn't said that. Again, with the childish um, homosexual cut downs and then accusing Chile of buying comments or not comments from subscribers, which would be defamatory in this case. So you think he's turning, I'm not even going to read the rest of this. I'm moving it or reporting it. So why do we have to disregard the court's order? Are, are you above the court? I'll, I'll go into that in, in a later video. Really don't want to um, help out the other side at this point. So the Papa Sarah Marie says, I subbed, who are you making these videos for? Uh, for fun, for me, it doesn't seem like you want engagement. You seem to show a lot of disdain towards anyone who dare ask you a question. Uh, I, I think a lot of the questions are rhetorical, but I'm answering them anyway. Uh, because I said I would. So, you've disparaged several legal professionals. I have possibly if they really are legal professionals and made some asinine assumptions about their legal practices for no good reason at all. No, I think I have good reason because they're saying incorrect things. It won't reveal your own qualifications. Uh, I've, I've said that I have, um, m I'm more qualified than they are, but you don't believe me. I'm definitely not revealing anything that would lead to my identity. Because I think you know why. Taipan23 says, This fool is a friend of Chile's or he is paid to say this ba Chile. I don't know. Has Have you guys seen Chile do that before? Does he have the money to pay me? That's That's ridiculous. Um, so it's actually the opposite way around. I have donated some money to Chile, so. You're not, and, oh, GD says, you're not an attorney at Murbeast made you look foolish. I doubt that's the case. I can see why you would think that, because Murbeast says it like it's true. Um, and says it in a way that's probably trying to mock me. But he's wrong. I guarantee it. So, um, not that it matters, right? Because I could show you where he's wrong with a actual authoritative source, and you guys would just find something else to argue about. Because trolls like to, to just pick holes and argue and find edge cases why I might be wrong. And their heroes are not wrong. Some old man says, Ah, oh, no, discussing law did that on his own, but Murbeast made some money out, bring it to everyone's attention, and that makes it so much better. <sighs> yeah. I don't know if that's true. 
I mean, him making money, uncovering something that I said. I don't know. If he made another video about me, I, I appreciate it because I'm sure that's going to bring viewers, views to my channel, even if you guys, you know, stream it on Discord or whatever. Ha ha ha. Ha. Trolls are triggered, says delete laws. They definitely have been in the last several videos that seem to reveal things that Kate didn't want people to know about. The extension was granted, so you're clearly wrong. Maybe let legal issues o le let legal issues over to real lawyers. You guys gonna look dumb. Really dumb. Really, really. But you're still gonna believe them. Pretty soon. Probably pretty soon. That would seem to put paid to all the BS this video is spewing. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Brit B word says you're saying I'm a lot. Are you, are you lying? Still. She, she went back, I think, one too many videos. Because wasn't that the video? No, this is the video. But she said it in the other one, too. So is this a duplicate, or is the other one a duplicate? I'm going to let her have duplicates for now. So Run Chili Run says, so How many lawsuits have you tried in federal court? Is that to me? Uh, more than you? More than Merb, way more than Paul Carroll. What makes you qualified to speak on this? You know, I would say more than Benjamin, Benjamin Wish. What makes you qualified to speak on this, especially since what you're saying is 100% wrong? <sighs> Just believe what you want to believe. I don't know why you think because you work at McDonald's you're an expert. On other anything other than French fries. All right, so I think it's where I'm gonna wrap it up. So we we'll just have to remember to do um, the comments on these two videos. Let me make my next. My next trial response video. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day. If anyone has the time to like type up an index with timestamps and then the name of the troll that I answered at that time index, that would be awesome. That way, the trolls don't have to watch my whole video to find my responses to them. Um. Talk to you later.